Yo, what up everybody? How are you? It's time to do a full case break. Her uh, Heritage Baseball, number four, PYT style. Uh, I was giving away two boxes, so let's do that now. I'm going to roll the die, see how many times we're going to go in the randoms. Uh, do I know anything about plates and patches? I do not break your addiction, unfortunately. Got the number three. So we're going to go three times in the random. We're going to go ahead and put the random up on the screen. So there you go. As you can see, I have everyone's name that's in this break here. So what's going to happen is I'm going to random it three times. Top of the list wins a box. The last spot in the list also will win their own box. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Good luck, people. One. Remember, we're going three times. Two. Money shot time. And three. So Michael wins a box. And Donald wins a box. Very nice. Now, I'm going to pick the box randomly. And I will ship it out to you. So, congratulations to Michael. And congratulations to Donald. The first and last spot, as I said, will be receiving a heritage box all to themselves. And that's the bottom line, because Uncle Jesse said so. Sorry, Tomas, and everyone else in the break that did not win the random box. So sorry. Me so sorry. However, have no fear. We still got the uh, full case break here. So let's go ahead and do the full case break. Sorry everyone that didn't win. You had a chance though. You had a chance. All right, not that one. That one. That way I can put up the uh, the break here. Here it is. Blow it up for the screen. And there it is. Alright, now seeing as how this is a store break, I'm uh, I'm gonna go through this kind of quickly. I'm gonna go through this fairly quickly. Uh, as you guys know, we do double check everything as far as for variations and all that stuff and I also have notes as to what veteran base wants to ship um, I have Yankees Cardinals and Cubs that want their veteran base Yankees Cardinals Cubs uh, the Astros also have their veteran base shipping uh, where are the Astros? Copy and paste. Now, if you're in this break and you're watching and you want your veteran base, let me know so I can leave a note and my sorters can uh, take care of that for you. Because veteran base does not ship in this product. As you're going to come to find out, there is a fucking bunch of it. And truth be told, a lot of people do not want their veteran base. So that's also a fact. Uh, Tomas, that will be done, but it won't be for your tears. It's going to be for tears of joy, if anything, from the, the nastiness I'm going to hit you in this. The A's. Oh, let me see. Where are the athletics here? There they are. 
I'm a, just for the A's, uh, Mr. Delbert, Tomas, you want your veteran base too? Fine by me. Boom, done deal. And let's uh, go ahead and start before we do, though. Good luck, everybody. Hello. Hello. Good luck, everybody. Hello. Okay, so clearly the man is tired. Poor guy, poor guy. Uh, no problem, Delbert. I'll take care of you, man. Here we go. You know, I'm gonna do things differently on this one. I'm just gonna open the box topper now. See what it is. It's uh, Giancarlo standing on the back. And uh, two teams on the front. I mean, three teams on the front. Blue Jays, D-backs, Brewers. That's going to have to get random, obviously. We'll do that at the end of the break. Now, it's about to be 1 in the morning. I'm not trying to be stuck doing this thing until 3 in the morning. So, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go through this a little quick here. Obviously, my sorters double check the codes on the back of the card, making sure that any variations get sent out to you top loaded and all that stuff, so no, no worries there. If you wanted veteran base, I do have notes on the side here for my sorters. Uh, so far, Astros, A's, Rangers, Yankees, Cardinals, Cubs, Padres, Rays, Mariners, Rockies want their veteran base. And if you're watching this and you're in this break and you want your veteran base, please let me know right now in the chat. Otherwise, if you're watching like later on YouTube or whatever and you're, you're watching me talk right now, first off, hi. Uh, please send me an email. Let me know. Hey, dude, in that heritage uh, number four, this is actually heritage number four. It says three up there, so I need to change that. This is number four, like I said. So if you want your veteran base, shoot me an email or something. And I will make notes and make sure that my sorter sent you everything you want. And honestly, I'm not trying to be here for two hours going through this stuff. You guys know me. I'm, I'm pretty decent at catching the short prints just by looking at them. You know, if in case you, you didn't know, the only true way to know uh is to check the back of the cards and look at the code and see if it's a short print or not and i'm not going to do that for every single card that and i've also gotten pretty good at catching them if, if i do say so myself i mean of course like i said the only way for sure to know is to look at the back of the card so Mahoney, see, somebody came out of nowhere. Mahoney, my homie, came through and said, yo, make sure I get that White Sox vet base. Got you, Michael. And uh, so it begins. Here we go. Good luck, everybody. So, Chris Bryant, Deckel, to start us off. Is now the time we're going to see a, an Otani auto? Got a full case to go through, so it can happen. Good luck to everybody. I hope you guys hit something crazy sick. Kenta Maeda, Dodgers. 
with the black border there. Got a random that. There's a patch for Dallas Keuchel Astros. Let me uh, fix this because it's bothering me. Got a random that. That's all Dodgers. Don't got a random that. I think that's a big short print. It is. Matt Shoemaker, big short print for the Angels. Raphael Davers, Deckel for the Red Sox. That's a very short print. All right, Dicky Braves, short print. Got a few things to random, but we'll do that at the end of the break. The flashbacks and you know those cards with multiple teams on them. Chrome for Chris Sale, Red Sox. That's number to 999. Got a random match. And see what's in here. Tomas, I still can't believe I hit you that red ink Mike Trout out of a personal box, dude. Insane. You know, that, ca that case that I had done for personals was pretty ridiculous. Yomer Sanchez of the White Sox. That's a base short print. All right, that's one box down. Making decent time on this. Of course, I still got 11 other boxes to go through. And on, I take more time opening up the packs than I do actually going through them. Because I've, I've gotten pretty good at catching the, the short prints. Let's see what we got here. The workout mode right now for show. All right. So, I'm not waiting for the end. Just want to see what this is ASAP. We got Jim Weaver of the Angels, the buyback. There you go. Let's see what else we got. All right, Tomas, time me. I don't know how long it's going to take me to go through this. And I don't know how long I, it, it's been since I started. I want to say it's probably been like five, maybe ten minutes since I've started. Trying to break a, trying to break a heritage full case record. Isn't it daylight savings time now? 
It's one in the morning where I'm at. Well, technically 104 if we, you know, want to be specific. But all my life, my mom has always like you know, whenever, like, growing up, whenever I would be, ask my mom, like, if I was late for school or whatever, I'd be like, Mom, what time is it? She'd be like, it's it's 8 o'clock, you're going to be late for school, or whatever the fuck. And I look at the clock, and it's, it's like 7.30. I'm like, Mom, it's 7.30, I still got, like, at least another 15 minutes or whatever to catch the bus. And she's like, no, it's 8 o'clock, I guess that was her way of trying to get me to go on time. But whenever, yeah, I'm always wary whenever people mention time to me now. I'll be like, yo, what time is it? Oh, it's it's 8 o'clock. Is it really 8 o'clock? Bro, it's 7.58. Ah, I guess it's 8 o'clock. It's 1.05 where you're at. 11.05. Well, you're, you're, where, 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 I forgot where you're from, Breaker Edition, but I think that's Midwest time. And Tomas over there on that West Coast time. 10 o'clock over there. Oh, man. The party's just starting in California. It's 1 in the morning over here in Miami. I'm trying not to be into, uh, here until 3 in the morning doing this. You know, I'm hoping to fill Optic Football. You know, if we fill that Donruss Baseball, we fill anything, I'm going to rip it straight up. In Montana. Hey. What's there to do in Montana? Like, if I ever find myself in Montana, what is one thing I should definitely do? Box number two, good luck. That's a base short print. Seun Juan O for the Cardinals. What up, Hiller? Yeah, man, we finally filled the Heritage full case break. That's what I'm doing right now. I don't think you're in this break, Hiller. I know. Well, actually, you are. You got the Angels. Uh, so let me ask you a question. Are you ready for the Otani? That's my first question. Second question, do you want your veteran base? Because veteran base does not ship in this. But if you want it, I'll send it to you. Edinson Volquez of the Marlins. Base short print. Uh, I just literally, I'm on my second box. Uh, Hiller. So... No, no angels have hit yet. Just straight breweries? So you do not want your veteran base, Hiller? Is that... I think that's what I had asked you with that second question. So I just got to double check. You do not want your veteran base, right? Uh, Chad Bettis of the Rockies. That's a short print. Obviously, variations, short prints, inserts, rookies... Any hits, obviously, will get sent to you, but veteran base does not ship in this. Uh, Corey Seager, Dodgers, Deckel. Dynamite Micro Breweries. Well, I do like uh, I do like the beer. So I might might have to uh, take a little field trip one time from to Montana. What the hell? That ain't nothing. No, that's not a short print. That's one. Young Gervis Solarte, base short print for the Blue Jays. So, Hiller, being being that I'm stupid, could you please just answer my, my question? Do you want your veteran base? I know you probably answered it before, but on account that I'm dumb, on account that I'm dumb, I, I need to, I need you, I just need to know. For sure. Corey Seager of the Dodgers action image. There you go. Very nice. That in Alaska is a short print for the Angels. Hiller says he'll take it. Boom. Done deal. Uh, so I'll put that note there for you. No problem. Chrome for Joey Votto Reds. That's number to 999. That would be that would be kind of cool, Tomas. I mean, it'd be a bitch to, to actually receive the product though. 
You know what I mean? That'd be that'd be a pain in the ass trying to figure that out, but in in theory, definitely would be fun. Is it practical? Probably not. There you go, Hiller. Watch, watch, watch on your phone, man. Download that YouTube app and watch your boy. Tell your boss, hey, I'm watching Uncle Jesse. I'm sure they'll understand. And if they don't, send them my way. I'll, I'll talk to them. I'll talk to them. You want to assess as of the Mets patch? Uh, seriously, can't wait until we get new chairs. My ass is numb. In case anybody was wondering. Danny Salazar of the Indians with the short print. Oh, Hiller. I want to hit that Otani so bad. Hopefully it goes to you, man. Aaron Judge, Yankees deckle. I, have, I haven't even hit a single one. At least a, a, a base Otani your way. I'm hoping that happens. Or maybe maybe uh, a trout because he he has autos in this too. Shin Su Chu for the Rangers. That is a short print. Uh, Infinity break from eight o'clock, dude. Chris, I have not uploaded videos at all today. I have been uh, I've been pretty busy breaking all day, so I haven't had a chance to title videos or upload them, Chris. So I apologize for that, man. Uh, I guess my question to you is going to be, where were you at 8 o'clock for the Infinity Break, Chris? Shame on you. Chris, I'm glad you're super cool about it because some people would, you know, be eating my face off right now. What do you mean you haven't uploaded the breaks? It says on eBay that you upload them 30 minutes after it's done. <laughs> you know, that, that's, that's how I picture them talking so i appreciate you being super cool nah listen i'm fucking with you obviously uh but yes shame but no seriously i, I understand you got better shit to do it's saturday dog i get it i get it for the red sox rafael davers on the back reds mets a's on the front I'm, I'm gunning for an hour and a half on this break. That's that's what I'm striving for. I'm trying to break a record here with this heritage break. It's, I've been averaging about two over two hours on the full case break, so trying to n let that not be the case here. Well, Chris, uh, what I have on my website right now, I got 23 spots left in Optic Football. You know, that could probably break tonight if a miracle happens. Uh, 14 spots left in Donruss Baseball, where I'm giving away two Donruss boxes and that. Uh, if that fails, you know I'm going to break it because, you know, IDGAF. 22 spots left in Spectra Basketball from 1617. That could probably break tonight. And 18 spots in Flawless Baseball. That could also potentially break tonight. Uh, but honestly, the only way I'm going to break any of that is if it gets down to zero spots. So we definitely got to put some work in on that. And by we, I mean y'all. All 25 of you watching on YouTube, and the, the few I got on Breakers. So pick up a team, and let's get this stuff filled, folks. In the Donruss Baseball PYT, I'm giving away two Donruss boxes. So if you buy a team, you get a, sh uh, a shot to win a box. If you buy two teams, you get a shot to win two boxes, potentially. Uh, Breaker Addiction. I heard my name. I read my name. What? What? Oh, what is this? Oh, you motherfucker, you. 
You know what, though? I got a pretty good sense of humor. That was funny, so I'll give you that one. I'll give you that one. Dude, you might as well burn that shit. Ain't nobody gonna buy it. I don't give a fuck if that's a one on one. Ain't nobody gonna buy that shit. You might as well burn it. And I know, I know the northern part of the country is kind of cold. So I don't know if it's cool around your way, break your addiction over there on the Midwest. But add that bitch to the firewood, baby. Burn that motherfucker. Fucking smoking Jay Cutler. Fucking piece of shit. Well, break your addiction. I'm, I'm glad uh, you find my misery funny. Anyway, this is box number three. Here we go. Is a trout coming out to play? Alex Ray is short print for the Cardinals. At this point, I'm not even going to bother checking the back of the cards. I'm that good at it right now. Of course, I still check some from time to time because, you know, uh, I'm only human. Here, there's one. Martin Perez of the Rangers. Base short print. I was, but I found that really funny. That You know, as long as it's funny and done in good taste, you know, I'm not going to put you on timeout. But now if you say stupid shit like, oh, why don't the Dolphins sign Jake Cutler to another season? That is probably going to, you know... You know, I'll, I'll put you on timeout, and that'll be my response to you. I may as well be a Buccaneer fan. No, thank you. Plus, Jason has a uh, has cornered the market on being a, a Buccaneer fan. I, I'd rather not. I'd rather not. Kurt Suzuki of the Braves with the. Uh, base card there the base the sh base short print I should say because that's what it is um, again I gotta move my butt because it's getting numb uh, an autograph would be nice something insane would be even better Eduardo Rodriguez of the Red Sox that is a base short print Gotta look at those uh, trophies there. If they say 69, giggity, it's an error card. Joey Votto of the Reds with a uh, napkin. Need some ink. Need some ink. Big time ink, too. So for those of you guys that are in this break, I got a question for you. If I was to put this in... As a uh, full case, random division break. I mean, not random division. As a random team break, would you be interested? Max Kepler twins with the black border. You know, that way if I do it a random team style, everybody has a shot at the, at the Angels. Mike Napoli, Rangers, base short print. Yeah, I think I might do that, Tomas. Put it in as a uh, full case random team break. Obviously, you know, if you buy like 10 spots in it and you don't get the Angels, you're probably not going to be happy. But I I'm just, you know, just throwing ideas out there. Raimel Tapia, Rockies, base, short print. Deco for a mid Rosario. Mets. I don't know. I I, I got a. I, I just randomly threw it out there. I've been thinking about it. I haven't put the numbers together, but it'd likely be around like sixty dollars a spot. Again, I'm just throwing numbers out there, but it that's probably what it'll go for. Uh, Scooter, get it. That's a base short print. It, it, it honestly it depends on what the the boxes are selling at right now. I'm not exactly sure if the prices have gone up or down. I think the prices have maintained 
uh, at about 120, 130 for a box. But I, I gotta check. Nationals Daniel Murphy Chrome. That's to 999. Deckel for Cody Bellinger Dodgers. That's a big short print Christian Arroyo race. All right, box three down. I might be getting ahead of myself, but I think I'm making decent time. It's probably going to be closer to like $55, uh, Tomas. But again, I got to check to see what prices are looking like right now per box. If the if it, if the the box cost has gone down, obviously it'd be cheaper. If it's gone up, then <laughs> it's going to be more expensive. Got this here. Whoopsie daisy. Sixty nine card is for the Angels Jim Weaver. That's uh yet another Jim Weaver for the Angels. Getting two sixty nine cards there, the exact same one. Well not the exact same one, but you know what I'm saying. Alright. Let's open this up. No, it's definitely definitely not you. That's that's what I've seen. I mean, I've done a few cases of this now. And what I've noticed is it's like the same dude in those 69 uh, buybacks like twice, maybe three times over in one case. So you end up getting two dudes like twice each. And uh, that's actually not cool. Not cool at all. I've also have yet to see a buyback autograph either. I don't, they're probably not any, but it would be nice if there were some. Ah, I, I would not be surprised, uh, Tomas, if we do get another one just like it. Scherzer, Deckel for the Nationals. Autos would be nice to start coming out, please. Big names, please. 
Red ink would be awesome. 101 would be even better. That's a base short print. Jameson Tyone Pirates. Base short print. Something sick. Let's make somebody super happy. Marlins, Jose Urena. That's a short print. Action image there for Chris Bryant of so the Cubs. Jason Worth Nationals. That's a short print. Deco for Jose Altuve. Astros. For the Red Sox, Mookie Betts, the patch. It's only a matter of time before we get an auto. Got a random net. Yuli Gurriel of the Astros. That's a refractor. Number to 569. Print. To Antonio Senzatella, Rockies. Flashback, got a random that. Random that too. I think that's a color error card. I think it is. Code 98, if I'm not mistaken, is a color error. I don't have my, uh, what you call it, I don't have my little cheat sheet, but I'm fairly confident in that, got his name in blue there, very nice, the color swap, the player name color swap card, code 98 too, so that's how I know it's a uh, error, so it's pretty sweet for the Yankees, this is a short print for the Mariners, Ben Gamel, or Ben Gamel, how are you pronouncing it? Alright, put this away. Alright, here we go. in here. Cody Bellinger Dodgers on the back. D-backs Cardinals Mets on the front. Wait till we get some new chairs, man.
We gotta take the trash out. What up, Jason? Yes, sir. Doing a full case break here of Heritage PYT number four. Put in that work, man. Thank you, Breaker Addiction. That's one of my pet peeves. But, you know, at this point, it's like, whatever. I forgot what box this is, so we're just going to go. Action image for Jose Altuve of the Astros. Uh, let's arrange these buttocks on this chair, because, jeez, man. Bets Chrome for the Red Sox, number to Base sharp hand there, Xander Bogarts or Bogarts. I still don't know how to pronounce that. Benintendi Deckel for the Red Sox. Clayton Kershaw, Dodgers, Deckel. Ozzy Albies, Deckel there. Man, was hoping for an auto. Andrew McCutcheon in the Pirates patch. Ryan Healy. It's a short print for the Mariners. At this point, I really don't got to check. I'm that good. But, of course, I do check every now and then. I have my doubts on some of them. I think that was, I think that was box five? Which means I'm almost halfway. And it's been over half an hour. So I'm making okay time. Try not to spend two hours doing this stuff here. Let's see what the box stopper is. So we have Angels, Trout, 
Cardinals, Royals, Rangers on the front. go see what we got hmm, what's this two color patch for the angels to 99 our pool holes could that be a sign of things to come maybe maybe there might be an auto lurking in here oh it's the purple hot box johnny cueto giants purple that's a sharp print for the royals jason vargas the Quato, purple there. Paul DeJong, purple Cardinals. What's up with that chat? I got 25 people watching, if I'm not mistaken, and nobody talking? Dang. How about some motivation or some anything? Desby Swanson, Braves, purple. Nationals, Robles, Stevenson, purple, rookie stars insert. Matt Carper, the Cardinals. What up, Hiller? As far as the Angels, a few short prints, but nothing yet as far as autos. Oh, there was the Albert Pujols two-color patch. Ryan Zimmerman Nationals. Yeah, if everybody bought a team in Optic that's watching right now, we'd fill that break and I'd rip that right next. Dodgers Bellinger Purple. Ben Intendi Refractor for the Red Sox. That's to 569. Purple for Jake Arietta. Cubs. Napoli of the Rangers. That's a short print. Purple Cespedes of the Mets. Deco for Corey Seager, Dodgers. Mookie Betts of the Red Sox, purple. Uh, no, Hiller. No, no autos yet for the Angels. A few short prints, a patch, but that's about it. Will Myers, Padres, purple. 
Tyler Anderson Rockies short print. Miguel Sano Twins purple. Put that down here. And Duhar Frazier purple rookie stars for the Yanks. Brad Ziegler Marlins, that's a uh, short print right there. Purple for Eric Thames, Brewers. Victor Robles Deco for the Nationals. Carlos Correa, Astros Purple. Adam Jones, Orioles purple. Kurt Suzuki of the Braves. That's a short print. Number to 475. I I hope the same, Hiller. I hope the same. Kyle Seeger, Mariners purple. Kendris Morales, Blue Jays purple. Zach Davies, Brewers uh, purple. Freddie Freeman, purple Braves. Bryce Harper, Nationals, purple. Marcelo Zuna, Marlins, chrome. That's the 999. Uh, who won the boxes? It was Don, Donald, won a box, and uh, Michael, Michael, uh, Michael, Michael Spillane also won a box, if I remember correctly. I did it at the at the beginning of the video. But what you what you want to hear though is it's not you, Hiller. So sorry. Josh Donaldson, Blue Jays purple. Got the uh, the color error right there. The color swap. The Astros, Carlos Correa. Code zero two. Yes, sir. Very nice. So there's been a few error cards, but need some ink. Have yet to see any ink. Elvis Andrus, Rangers purple. I feel something huge is going to come out to play. Jose Abreu, White Sox, purple. Deckel for Aaron Judge of the Yankees. And I'm officially halfway through it. I got six boxes left. Hiller, hopefully the big one is yet to come, my man. So keep hope alive, baby. Let's go on to box. This would be box seven. I got five left. And Otani Auto, red ink to turn that frown upside down. Let's go. So we have for the Angels, Mike Trout on the back. Cardinals, Royals, Rangers on the front. Got a random it, of course. Let's see, I'm halfway through it. I'm 45 minutes deep. 
more or less into it. Which means I'm probably going to be at, uh, at around the hour and a half mark on this. Damn, I was trying to break a world record. Maybe do this under an hour, but that's not going to happen. But it looks like under two hours is a definite possibility if I can keep the pace up. I could speed things up a, a little bit. A little bit. This is the hardest part right here. Is actually, opening up these. Some of these packs aren't the easiest to open. And they come out all, all ugly and shit. That's, that's most of the time spent is just opening up the pack. Because going through them, I'm going pretty good. Hey, uh, so Jason, how about buying into uh, one of the breaks we have in the store, man? How about that? Help, help the cause, man. You know, pick the cheapest team, because I know how you do. Don't do, don't, I might, just do it, man. Make it happen. Yes, you do. I mean, listen, you, it, it's good bang for your buck because when you hit, could be a good one. But as long as it, as it means, you know, dwindling the teams down, put in that work, dog. Put in that work. See what we got here. Can we finally see an auto, please? Gene Segura, the Mariners. Black border on that. No, it's not kind of true. It is. It's exact. It's 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 true. The the dude bought the Angels in a in a in a <laughs> in the Donruss break. In, um, well, I guess he was smart because that hasn't filled yet. So. You know, fuck me, right? Joey Votto Reds, Deckel. But, uh... For the most part, the dude is super cheap. Like, the fucking hugest cheapskate I know, by far. Shamanea A's, Chrome. Always asking for handouts. When you don't give it to him, he cries. Bitches and moans. On eBay, always asking for free shipping. Oh, he's always taking, 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 taking. Never giving. Always asking for, for shit. But, you know, it is what it is. What are you going to do? Whatever, Jason. Whatever. Carlos Correa, Astros. That's a short print. Greg Smiley, Cubs. Oh, that dude's not going to hook it up hook it up with anything, bro. He's not going to hook us up with shit. If anything, he's going to overcharge us so he can pocket the money. I could totally see him doing that. Oh, the Heat ended up winning for show. You know, I could totally see Jason being the type of dude like, "Yo, I'll give you a hook up on tickets, bro." And you think you're getting a, you're getting a good price and then you check on you check on StubHub and it's all like this dude just charged the double for the for the thing and then he's gonna look at us and be like can't knock the hustle bro Hanley Ramirez right so he's he's one of those dudes he's one of those dudes he's he's an all right guy I like him but uh, a piece of shit through and through Zach Kozar Angels short print
There's a short print. Brad Hand, Padres. Alright, so no auto in this box, it looks like. Chris Sale, Red Sox. Hyunjin Ryu, Dodgers. That is also a short print. You know, he's one of those dudes that like, I was like, oh, I got you. I got you, I got you, I got you. But never actually comes through. Oh, bro, one of these days, bro, I got you. Still, nothing. Whereas me, when I say, oh, I got you, dog, it's almost like instantaneous. As far as, like, if you if you ask something of me, you know, you know, aside from, like, oh, dude, hit me in Otani, bro. Oh, yeah, you know, of course I'm going to say, yeah, oh, sure, yeah, no problem, I got you. You know, I have no control over that. But, you know, as far as, you know, doing the refunds and customer service, mainly, my stuff is like that. So when I say I got you, I mean I got you. When he says I got you, it's only if it's beneficial for him. Which, honestly, I cannot knock the hustle. I really can't. But I'm definitely going to call him out on it. Yet another Jim Weaver of the Angels. You called it, Tomas. That's the third one, dude. Crazy. Uh, my birthday's in November. My birthday's in November. If you can guess the date, like, uh, like the day... Like, not the day of the week, but, like, the number date. I'll give you, uh, I'll give you something. And that's just for you, Tomas. Everybody else, I could care less, because nobody else is talking in the chat. That includes Jason. Jason could try to guess, but I'm not going to give him crap. Wow, Tomas, you got that shit on your first try? Ah, see, Mike came out of nowhere and was like, oh, he's giving away something? Oh, let me try. Man, you guys are something. You guys are something else. You know that? You guys are something else. Bunch of fucking scavengers, boy, I tell you. Tomas, you guessed it, dude. That was, that's, that's eerie. Yeah, November 20th, dog, straight up. 1989. Sure you did, Mike. Sure you did. And I'm Mike Gerber. I got contracts from the from the from the Dolphins, from the Astros, and from the fucking Cucamonga Cracker Killers. I'm fucking with you, Mike. You know this. Yep, I'm 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 the real Mike Gerber. The jig is up. I'm the real Mike Gerber. Will the real Mike Gerber please stand up? <laughs> Let's see. I'm approaching the two-hour mark. And I got four boxes left. I just might do this under an hour and a half. Uh, dude, uh, not a single autograph has come out yet. A few base short prints, things things like that, but no ink yet. And that's what we're looking for. No Otanis either, which, honestly, I'm trying to get at least a base Otani. You know, I would not be surprised if Pappy's the real Rob Lowe and he was having a straight-up argument with himself, you know? I don't know what that... I don't know where he's at. I think he's still dealing with... Uh, with that food poisoning. Although I saw him for a little bit. Wow. You you butchered that one, Jason. For at you, is that you? Alright, let's see what's in this. That's a short print. Tyler Anderson, Rockies. Yep, 
Jason Vargas Royals short print. The back boy, they that's yep, that sounds like the the one and only. I haven't seen him today. Surprising. I guess I guess he has something called a life. Nice. For the Brewers, the hundredth anniversary there, Travis Shaw. Nolan Arenado, Rockies Deco. Ryan Braun Brewers, sharp print. Are you serious? Uh Tomas, because that's some that sounds extremely plausible. <laughs> if I'm being honest. That sounds like something that would legitimately happen. A rookie Rice Hoskins of the Phillies. Is that like an error or something? Was that supposed to be autographed and it wasn't? Code zero 01, no, just an action image. Rice Hoskins, Phillies, rookie card. Code zero 01, that's an action image uh, code. Which I have pretty much memorized by this point. For the Astros, Dallas Keuchel, two color patch to ninety nine. There, still no ink, still no ink. I hope they're saving the the best for last kind of deal. Paul Goldschmidt, D backs, refractor right there. That's a short print, Matt Harvey. Mets. AJ Ramos, former Marlin. Is that like a. No, no, it's not. Mookie Betts, Red Sox, Deco. I'm totally going to give him shit when I see him again. I'm like, damn, dude, were you, were you, were you punished, dog? Were you on timeout? Brad Ziegler, Marlins, uh, short print. Adrian Beltre, Rangers, short print. That Tomas, that sounds like the like ex an exchange for sure. I wonder if he got like his ass whooped by a bell, or 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 even or if he even got his ass whooped, or if it was just like go go to your room and don't come out until I tell you kind of deal like. Bryce Harper, Nationals, Deckel. All right, got four boxes left. The huge ass wooden spoon. Well, I'm not even from the Pacific, and I got those too. I got pretty much whatever. What, whatever it took, I got. Good times, good times. All right, it's time to start putting some of this stuff away. Starting to stack up a little, a little too much for my liking. All right. You know, I haven't seen a poster in a little while. Oh, that's a magenta back. Nice. Short print right there. Bill Stoneman of the Montreal Expos, which, uh, if I'm not mistaken, are the Nationals. Can somebody uh, 
confirm that for me? That the Expos are indeed the uh, Nationals? Mike, what you know about that chancla, dog? Oh, Tomas, that was a good. That was that was clever. That was clever. That's nice. That's nice. Good timing on the joke. You know, it's still okay. I like it. Okay. Seriously though, is it a national? Am I tripping, or did the time just jump to 3 in the morning? Well, that's fucking daylight savings time right there. So it is Nationals. That's what I thought. I want to write it on there, because I don't want my sorter to uh, make any mistakes. So if I can help out, I will. I thought I was tripping for a second. I was like, what the fuck? It's 3 o'clock? Technically, yes. But I have not spent two hours doing this. It's been about an hour. Yeah, I thought I was like, I'm not even stoned right now. I was about to say, I'm about to, I was going to hit the plug up and be like, damn, dog, that shit. That shit just hit me, like, randomly, dog. What, what's the name of that shit? He's going to be like, oh, that's that Silverman, dog. That's that delayed response. Exactly, that's that Silverman, that's that shit that puts you ahead an hour, you know, uh, uh, an hour ahead, and you're like, whoa, dude, what's that, bro, that's that Silverman, dog, damn, bro, I bet, yeah, I bet for at you is probably, like, when he, when he's drunk or under the influence of something, he's probably, like, hella proper, correcting us and shit, that would be, that would be hilarious. I don't think he's old enough to drink, though. I know he says he's like 21, 22, but I call boo, 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 shit on that one. He's probably somewhere having a nice tall glass of sunny delight. Anyway. Autographs, come on, it's time, it's been time. I'm pretty sure I passed the base short printers now, but at this point, I don't care. My sorters go through this thing anyway, so let them handle that. But see, an obvious one I cannot ignore. Brandon Phillips, Angels. Oh, damn, Frank. The pressure's on now. All right, let's get it done. Oh, Tiny, baby. We need you. We need you. A mini for Eric Thames, Brewers. That's all brewer on there. Are you a trucker, Hiller? Is is that is that the J O B? Is that what you do? You're a trucker? I'm just I'm and I'm asking randomly. Garrett Richards of the Angels with a short print? My stepfather growing up actually was a trucker for for some time. And I went with him on uh on a trip all the way up to like Niagara Falls in an eighteen wheeler rig. And honestly, that was it was kind of fun. I had a good time. Uh, Anthony Rizzo, the Cubs. 
that's that uh that error right there zero two color error very nice base short print mac mark trumbo orioles oh you're that law enforcement healer nice well listen i hope you get home to your uh family safe at the end of the shift i know uh you guys get a bad rap but you guys have the toughest job probably in the world man so thank you dude thank you for everything that you do hiller Lonnie Chisenhall, the Indians. That is a base short print. I know, hey, I know, Frank. That that you are one of the good ones. So don't forget to uh, protect and serve the peeps. Buster Posey, Giants. Mm. Autograph for the Cardinals. Mr. Jack Flaherty, rookie card, blue ink auto right there. That's our first auto, but it's not our last. We should be getting at least one more, and it's going to be an Otani. Watch it happen. Let's go. Gary Sanchez, Yankees. Yeah, listen, man. I've 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 had my run-ins with law enforcement. I'm not uh, I'm not proud of it, but I, I can say that there's been uh, many instances where you know the copper was pretty much an asshole. Which I get it. You know, I get it. I understand. You guys deal with a lot of shit, but the opposite has also been true. Uh, and to be fair. I've actually had more positive experiences with, with law enforcement than I've had negative. Uh, obviously, the negatives stand out in, in your mind a lot more than the positives, but, man, I, I've had a lot of policemen look out for me, and shout-outs to them, man. Shout-outs to the good ones. And you're one of the good ones, Frank. Uh, speaking of Frank, Francisco Lindor Indians, that's to 569. You know, I know, I know that job is incredibly thankless so the least I can do is you know send some good vibes your way dude Nolan Arenado of the Rockies action image alright three boxes left Otani hiding out in one of them. Yeah, 305 cops definitely have a tough job. I, I can, yes. For sure. For sure. You know, I didn't know this, but apparently there is a lack of policemen in, in South Florida, which is why the majority of, of, of coppers ride solo in a, in a car you know, usually, or from what I understand, from what I heard anyway, is around the country, most most people do like the buddy system. You know, you got two people per squad car. But, uh, but not here in South Florida. Oh, it's one person in the car. And that's why when somebody gets pulled over, there's like three, four coppers uh, alongside them too. So I always wondered that, and then I put it together. I was like, oh shit, well, you know, that makes sense. Another Bill Bill Stoneman for the uh, for the Nationals would not surprise me if we get another Bill Stoneman. Well, Frank, I mean, trust me, believe me, uh, I actually I do. I mean, uh, obviously, I'm, I could never understand truly because I've never been in law enforcement. But I, I got friends that are are in law enforcement. Uh, you know, my best friend's father is a detective. In the Miami Dade Police Department, so I've I've seen plenty of the good. I've I've also seen the bad, but I've seen more good than bad. And I know it's a thankless job. It's a, it's one of the toughest jobs in the world. So if the if at the very least I can thank you for your service. 
And, and I know a thank you goes a long way. So no need to thank me, man. Thank you. You know, continue to do what you do. 20 years patrolling the streets, keeping people safe. You're awesome, man. You're the you're the true hero. Now, with that, all that being said, it's Otani time. Because if I don't, then Frank's probably going to arrest me. For conspiracy to not hit an Otani. Or something like that. But yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to piggyback off of Tomas's question, Frank. Are you state? Are you a sheriff? Are you local police department? Or maybe you're like a rent -a cop that pretends to be law enforcement. I'm joking, of course, but... Just trying to make conversation while I uh, open up these packs here. Oh, dude, we got plenty of hot female cops in Miami. I've never been pulled over by one, though. Unfortunately. But I have seen them, like, you know, pulling other people over. And I always think to myself, man, why not me? And then I remember, oh, that's a copper. And then I immediately am like, yeah, no, don't. Just, you know, pull other people over. Leave me alone. Would I date a female cop? Fuck yeah. What? Hells yeah, dog. I, dude, I do not discriminate. I, I, I don't care what your profession is. That, that has no reflection on who you are as a human being. You could be a police officer. You could be a fucking dentist. You could be a vet tech. I don't care what your profession is. As long as you are a decent human being, that's all I care about. Ah, oh, so you work for the state police department. Uh, what state, Frank, if you don't mind me asking? In New York, is of all states. Wow. Never, well, yeah, I've, I've driven past New York a few times. That is a tough job for sure, especially in in New York, man. There aren't enough thank yous for 20 years of service, man. All right, let's see what we got here. I bet you got some stories too, dude. For the Angels Mike Trout action image. Angels Otani, at least a base Otani, at the least, at the least. We could do that. I am hungry as fuck. That was probably a base short print, but as you can tell, I'm trying to make a world record happen here. Probably not going to get under the hour and a half, uh, hour and a half mark. God dang it. That guy's so creepy with that picture. Alright, I know for a fact that's a base short print. Vince Velasquez, Phillies. Yeah, I was going to ask that question too, Tomas, but I thought chances are he probably did. Oh, Frank, I can only imagine. Are you are you allowed to, to at least throw one out there? You know? Throw, throw one story out there maybe, Frank? If you, if you got the time. Machado, Orioles, Deckel. Charlie Blackman of the Rockies, numbered to 69. Another one there. Yasmani Grandal, Dodgers. Uh, that's a ba uh, base short print. Yeah, Johnny Bench 101, once upon a time, was very nice. Uh, 
I can only imagine, uh, Hitler. Dude, I remember when 9-11 happened, I was, I could do I could tell you exactly where I was. I was in, I was in middle school, I was in the sixth grade, I was in science class, and the teacher turned the, the TV on, and when she turned it on, uh, you know, the first, the first plane hit, uh, and, you know, me being a dumbass, by the way, Carlos Rodon, White Sox, short print. Me being a dumbass in the class clown, I, I was just joking about it. I was like, oh, man, that's fake as fuck. That's, you know, oh, it's it's fucking CGI. That shit's fake. There's no way, blah, blah, blah. And then the second plane hit, and then I was like, okay. Andrew Benintendi, 1969 on that right there. Guess what? That's a rookie cup player error right there. 1969 on that. That's an error card. That's nice. A lot of errors in this thing. So, yeah, when the second plane hit, I was like, oh, shit. This is real. And especially once kids started getting taken out of school by their parents. Of course, I was not one of those students. I had to stay in school. Brandon Finnegan of the Reds. Short print. You know, me along with the rest of the minorities. <laughs> Had to stay in school while all the other white kids were like going home. Oh my god, it's so oh no. Oh my god. Come on, Timmy. Come on, Becca. We gotta go home. But yeah, that that was a day that I'll probably never forget. Cole Hamill's Rangers patch. Damn, at least you guys got to go home, Tomas. You know, school stopped for us, too. Like, you know, teachers were just pretty much talking to us for the rest of the day. You know, they, we had pretty much a free day. And, you know, all the students, we were just talking about what the fuck we just witnessed. You know what I mean? We, we were all pretty much shell-shocked on, on, on what the fuck just happened. Um, but, yeah. It was crazy time. I mean, Frank, I mean, you don't have to feel old. I mean, it, that's all in your head. You know, I'm 28 years old right now, and I feel like I'm 16, honestly. You know, I, I still do stupid shit like I did when I was 16. So it's 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 all in your head. You're You're as old as you think you are. But nah, man. For the Mets, Ahmed Rosario on the back, Giants, Reds, Braves on the front of the box topper. Well, so much for making it under an hour and a half. That's not going to happen. Probably not. But under two hours, for sure. Two, under two hours, for sure. Yeah, Frank, that was another thing. Uh, you know, watching the TV screen, uh, I don't know how old I was, but I was in the sixth grade, so I was probably like, you know, 11 or 12 years old. Seeing the planes hit and then seeing people jump out of, like, the towers was surreal. Like, watching it on TV, like, I, I honestly, I thought I was watching a movie. Like, I really did. Like, at one point, I really thought I was watching a movie. Until I noticed, like, all the kids were, you know, like, the you know, the adults were freaking out. You know, as a kid, you know, you're kind of, I don't want to say desensitized, but, like, you're not really aware of all the fucked up shit that goes on around the world. So, to have seen that as a kid was definitely a surreal moment. Um... I don't want to say I lost my innocence that day, because it happened way before that, but like, yeah, watching people jump from the buildings and just all the images that I saw on TV were just, I, I definitely grew up a little that day, for sure, uh, I will say that, I definitely grew up a lot that day, um, it made me appreciate a lot of things, you know, as much as my sixth sixth grade brain could 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 do 
But um, yeah, man. Definitely fucked up situation. And I, I wish I could say things are getting better, man, but they're not. They're really not. So it's a crazy time to be alive. You know, it's even crazier to think that World War II was like 70 years ago. Like, you ever think about that shit? You know, 19, no, the 1940s were like 70 years ago. Damn, Frank, that, that would have been a scary time. I bet, you know, you probably couldn't even make a phone call in New York at that time either. Yeah, dude, my condolences, Frank. Jorge Bonifacio of the Royals with a short print. Rice Hoskins, Phillies, Deco, for the Orioles, Chrome, Hayes, and Cisco. That's number to nine nine nine. I mean, why not, Mike? Why not? Why not? You know, there, there, there are things that definitely need to be spoken about. You know, I mean, I find that's that that's that's a problem with 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 just people in general, man. I mean, Paul Goldschmidt, Deco there for the D backs. You know, we, you know, when tough shit happens, you know, we need to talk about it. You know. It's not easy, but we can't just be quiet. We can't just continue to just let shit happen. We got to speak up, man. We, you know, you got to communicate it, man. Clint Frazier, Yankees. That is an action image. That's a short print. Victor Martinez, Tigers. Well, Mike, that's how I do things, man. I'm, I'm all or nothing, bro. I'm, I'm one of those kind of people. I'm all in or I'm not in at all. I'm, I'm on either side of the extreme. I'm a yes or no kind of guy. Kelvin Herrera of the Royals with the uh, short print. No, for sh you're exactly right, Mike. The problem with me is that I think differently than, than most people. So when, when people ask my opinion and then I actually speak up, they're like, oh, shit, I wasn't expecting that response. Runetto Door Rangers with a patch. Like, I got to address it, man, since we're talking. We might as well talk about it, shit. You know, in Florida... And just really, just around the country, man. Kids killing each other. You know, taking guns to school and whatever the fuck. That's a short print for the Tigers, Jose Iglesias. Like, you know, people are talking about gun control. Okay, yes, definitely, we should talk about that. But why aren't we talking about, you know, how we're, we're, we're prescribing all these kids all kinds of drugs. And, you know, those drugs do have effect on, on, your, on your brain. Which is going to affect the way you think and is going to affect everything. You know what I mean? So, why don't we talk about that? Why don't we talk about how kids get bullied? And why don't we talk about how, you know, I'm going to say this because fuck it, it's got to be said. But 
you know those kids that died at, you know in those school shootings how are we how do how are we to know that you know they weren't bullying that kid and making every day uh you know of his or her life a living hell every time they went to school you know what i mean so you know we don't talk about shit like that we we don't talk about how you know that weird kid in class that sits in the back of the class or whatever that's quiet and nobody talks to but everybody makes fun of nobody nobody talks about that right but as soon as a kid you know a kid gets go, loses his shit and shoots up a school now it's a problem and we don't even address the issue of the kid we talk about oh gun control and blah 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 like how about we talk about how that, that kid was being bullied every day of his life you know we don't talk about none of that man all right frank have a good night dude Hopefully, I can prove you wrong with this last box, man. Stay safe. And uh, hopefully, I'll see you soon. Otani coming your way. I'm, I'm still calling my shot. Last box mojo here. We got Jim Weaver of the Angels. No surprise there. Yeah, that's nobody wants to be accountable for their actions, you know. That's like the fourth dude, that's the fourth one. The fourth Jim Weaver for the Angels. Crazy. Ridiculous. Yeah, dude, you know, parent you know, for sure, you know, talk about how we're raising these kids. We don't talk about that, you know. Or the kids that are getting bullied or all the drugs that they're on. ADHD and blah, 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 blah. I don't know, man. It's it's a crazy time to be alive. You know, the internet makes, you know, has made the world extremely small now. The exchange of information is, you know, instantaneous almost. And it, you know, situations should be improving, but... I don't want to say they're getting worse, but it's like nothing's changing. And I don't know, man. You know, I, I always think that, oh, you know, I could I could change the world, but I can't do shit. Not not by myself. So you know, whenever there's issues at hand or whatever. I try to talk about it, you know, not just here with you guys in the room hanging out or whatever, but in my own personal life, you know, with my friends, with, with my family, with my loved ones, you know, I talk about it and it's not easy to talk about because, you know, I, I used to be that kid that used to get bullied, you know, believe it or not, there was a time where good old Uncle Jesse used to get bullied back in school, you know, and eventually you know i got tired of it and i you know i could have been that kid that went to a school and shot shot everybody the fuck up i could have been one of those kids you know luckily i had uh people in my life that uh you know helped me along the way and helped mold me to become who i am now and believe it or not i used to get bullied and then i had enough of that shit and I figured, well, what's, what's the worst that can happen? Get my ass kicked. Got into a few fights. And then lo and behold, you know, believe it or not, standing up for yourself goes a long way, man. And that bully, believe it or not, turned into a friend. And, uh, you know, don't really talk to him anymore. But, you know, that was elementary. You know, hopefully he's doing well himself, but... Yeah, man. I mean, I don't know. I can't. I can't. I really. I can't speak for everybody because it does start at home, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And obviously, it's it's on an individual basis. You know, I can't compare myself to other people because I'm. Um, you know, I, I I probably sound extremely uh, arrogant saying this, but I'm not like everybody else. I don't think the same way as everybody else. You know, I don't experience emotions the same way as everybody else. I'm. I'm one of those people where I feel emotions very intensely, very strongly. So, you know, when I'm in pain, bro, I'm fucking going through it. When I'm depressed, I'm fucking depressed. When I'm happy, I'm the happiest person ever. You know, 
I, I literally take things to the extreme in, in all facets, you know? So when, when people do things or whatever, I'm one of those people where I'm extremely empathetic. I can, I can put myself in your shoes and pretend to experience what you've experienced. And I'm more understanding than most people. And just seeing what we do to each other on a daily basis is just, it hurts. You know, I... I think about it all the time, you know, if, if I even want to have any kids, or if I ever, you know, I don't know, dude, it, it's tough, um, especially for those of you guys that are parents, you know, you shouldn't have to think about like, oh, you know, what's going to happen with my kid today is, 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 is some, some other fucked up kid going to go up and, 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 and do fucked up shit, you know, I think about shit like that. You know, I have friends that have kids, you know, and maybe one day I'll have a kid. I shouldn't have to think about that. I shouldn't have to worry about uh, whether or not my kid's going to come home because of whatever. It's, you know, it's just, it's a crazy time. It's a crazy time. But hopefully we can talk about it and make a change, man, because that's, it's 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 been time. It's been time. I I just hope it doesn't happen where, when when it needs to, when it's when it's too late. You know what I mean? When it's World War Three, or you know what I mean? Or the aliens take over, or the fucking zombie invasion actually happens. Like, hopefully it happens like now. You know, but unfortunately, Anthony Rizzo Cubs deco there. Unfortunately, you know. History tells us that the only time we ever make changes is when it's a tragedy. Something really fucked up has to happen. And history does repeat itself. Anyway, let's finish this shit here. Can we, can we get this Otani finally? Yuli Gurriel, Astros. With a chrome, that's the 999. I, dude, I've seen uh, I've seen a few UFOs in my lifetime. Uh, you know, I've told my mom when I was, dude, when I was little, I saw one. I've seen a, I've seen a few. But uh, yeah, I definitely believe in aliens. Kyle Schwarber, Cubs, that's the 569. It's like, it's it's a mathematical. Like, there is no way Logan Morrison of the Rays, you know, if you're telling me we're one of trillions upon tr like, it's a mind-boggling number, how many other, you know, planets and galaxies and whatever there are out there, it's, it's like, it's impossible to think that they were, that we're the only intelligent life in the entire universe, you know what I mean? That's actually kind of arrogant, actually. I met Rosario Mets. That's the action image right there. Code zero one. Yes, sir. I think about shit like, what if we're like the Truman Show and Planet Earth is like just a big, big ass zoo that the rest of the, the that the rest of the cosmos just tunes in every day and is like, oh, I, what's going on on Planet Earth today? Jurious familia of the Mets. You ever you ever think about that possibility? What if we're all in the Matrix? What if this is all a program? Cardinals, Yadier Molina, Deckel. No, I, I, I've seen a, I've seen some strange shit. I don't know if it's UFOs, but I've definitely seen some strange shit. Francisco Lindor, Indians. You know, ghosts and stuff like that. Like I don't play with that shit. For the Indians, Francisco Mejia, the rookie auto. Boom. Are you serious, Jade? I can only imagine. I can only imagine. That's probably what I was seeing when I was a kid. Probably some like super experimental shit. And I thought, oh my god, it's an alien. 
Mejia, the Indians, the autograph. I'm still holding out hope for that Otani. It could it could come in uh, in the shape of a base card. Hoping, I'm hoping. Come on, baby, come on. Base short print right there, Lance Lynn Cardinals. Yo, Jade, how about you know one of those days or one of these days? Go go to the SpaceX warehouse. Let me let me get that uh that autograph from 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 a boy. What's his name? Elon Musk or whatever. The checklist card that'll go to the Cubs with the black border on there. Dude, that's it for the break. Damn. No Otani's in this case. Dang it. Sorry, Frank, if you're watching still. Sorry, dude. Otani's fucking possible. But, um, anyway... I remember one specific like UFO. I remember I was in the backyard and it was me and my boys. And you know, we're doing what we do, you know, whatever it is, right? And I just remember looking in the sky and I noticed this there was like it wasn't lights or anything. It was like it was like a metallic object. It was not the middle of the day. It was turning into night, but you know, obviously the sun was still out, so the the, the sky was still kind of blue. And I remember there being like a like a shape. It was not a disc, but it was kind of like a long oval, and it was just it was just it was just hovering, like it was just in place. And I noticed that I was like, hmm, that's kind of weird. And then I told a friend of mine, I was like, yo, look at that shit. And then he notices it, and then when we both notice it, like it did like a surreal move. It I don't know if it was a satellite or what it was. A friend of, you know, a friend of mine, actually my boy's brother, when we told him about it later, he was like, oh, bro, that was probably the space station. I was like, okay, maybe, but it was in place. When we noticed it, it like, it, it did one of these maneuvers, and then it like, boom, it like, it shot, like, it like, like a ridiculous speed, like relative to how far it was from me, and the maneuver it made defied the laws of physics. I'm not a physician or whatever the fuck, but it was not I don't think it can it was I don't it was not a maneuver that could have been done with today's technology. You know what I mean? So like that shit did one of these and then it fucking sh it just zoom like it was gone, dude. And me and my boy looked at each other, and we were like, what the fuck? And then we started freaking out. We were like, oh, shit, we just seen a UFO, blah, 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 blah. You know, I've seen a few on my own, but I've never seen a UFO with, like, somebody else there. You know what I mean? I, I had never seen a UFO with somebody else there. So the fact that I had a, you know, at least I had a witness with me kind of feels good. Uh, but yeah, it was, it was weird. Anyway, I got a few things to random here. So let me do that. Done with the break. It took me about an hour and a half to do. So that's not bad. I, I made good time on it. I probably would have gone a little bit faster if I wasn't, you know, talking, talking with y'all. But that's also the name of the game is to uh, talk to my peeps. And we, yeah, it's like Mike. We talk about everything in here, dude. Sometimes, sometimes you gotta talk about some real shit. You know, we can't be talking about fucking porno stars all the damn time. Although I would love to, but you know, sometimes you gotta, you gotta break it down with that real. Oh no, Mike, that is a fact. Yes, we were, but it doesn't change the fact that I saw what I saw.
You know, there was another time when I was little. I, I dude, I, I, dude, I remember this shit like, like it was yesterday. I was in the back seat on the driver's side on the back. So I'm sitting the, I'm sitting on driver's side in the back seat. I'm looking out the window. And again, I noticed there was like, like a metallic, like, I can't explain what it looked like. It wasn't exactly an oval. It wasn't a disc, nothing like that. But it was, it was different. It's, it's definitely different. And I noticed it and I was, and I was just staring at it. And I, I, after like a minute or two of me staring at it, you know, it just, it kept following me where I was. And 